Hey everybody, today I found a new tactic that I found pretty exciting on Reddit. And so for today's Tactic Thursday show episode 3, I'll be showing you it coming straight up. Hey everyone, National Master Sean Light here with this exciting puzzle in front of us today. Now this puzzle is one I found on Reddit, as I said before, all credits to uh, the username over here, as he is the one who allowed me to show you guys this tactic today for this amazing episode. Now this one I found super duper cool, because it combines a lot of different ideas that you guys learn as you guys are beginners and intermediates, but as you get better, you realize it's no longer about finding these simple forks, these simple pins, these simple x-rays, these simple discovered attacks, but it's about combining everything that you learned into one coherent masterpiece. So I want you guys to pause your clocks real quick, try to think about what the best move here is for white, and you know, basically find the best move here. So, all right, so I'm going to hope you guys pause your clock right now, and if you guys did, I want you to realize a couple things in this, um, in this position over here. In this position over here, we are up three pawns. We do have three pawns in this position, but the only issue is we are also down a piece. So usually three pawns is usually better than a piece if we're getting approaching the end game, but usually a piece is better than the three pawns generally in the middle game, unless the pawns are like in the center and completely dominating, right? So in this position, our opponent's not really developed. We are, but something very important to see is that our opponent's king is also very, very, very exposed in this position. And our knights are awfully, awfully close. So I'm going to tell you guys the solution. When I first saw this position, I thought to myself, hey, this looks like a smothered mate right now, right? I mean, look, the king is pretty cut off from the rest of his pieces. This knight is blocking a lot of squares, but the only issue is how do we get the smothered mate, right? Because usually you have to sacrifice a queen, like maybe on h7, but in this position, it's not quite possible, right? Because think about it. If you play here, like sure, if the knight captures, the knight here is checkmate. But the problem here is that I know a lot of you guys might actually just play queen a, uh, to h7 check, but it's not right because king can capture and then our entire plan is, well, poof, gone, vanished into thin air, it's gone. So we have to think a little bit smarter. Maybe we could use this knight check over here, but what do we do after king to g8? Don't seem to have anything. So check, check doesn't quite work because there's nothing left. So therefore, let's try this check. Because this knight is blocking g8, so then the king has to run here. And here is when my spider senses will start tingling, right? This queen is attacking this king, but there's this knight in the way. So if we move the knight, it will be a discovered attack. In fact, we could maybe set up a double attack. A double attack is when we use two pieces to attack the opponent's king at the same time. And these are special because then the opponent's king has to move. You can't block. So in this position, I see this. It's a check here and a, ch a check here. And the opponent, well, you can't block with like a knight here. Not that you would want to because you're in check here. And you can't block, well, you can't capture the knight because it's a check here. So the king is forced to run back because, again, the knight is guarding these two squares. But now you might see that this knight is protecting the square now. So if you try this queen to h7 check, which we wanted to do before, well, guess what? The opponent's knight has to capture, not the king, because the knight's guarding. And when that happens... Pause your clocks. Make sure you guys know how to finish this puzzle off. It's a simple knight f to g6. And that is mate because this pit king is stuck by his own pieces. And this knight trusting on e7 is defending e8, g8 very well. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Tactics Thursday. If you guys have a cool tactic that you guys want to show me and you want me to showcase for next week's episode, well then send it to, um, well, show me in the comments below and I'll make sure to take a look at it. Do you want to see how I destroyed a 2300 rated player in less than 7 moves? If you do, click that video over there. And also, subscribe for more chess content like this one.